Okay, Bezat Hashem, we continue with Hadachot, Hadachat Nerot Shabbat, from Sefer Halichot Olam. So, Hadachat Gimel, Zeman Hadachat Nerot Be'erev Shabbat, who Ke'esrim Da'or Dipnei Shekhiyat Achama. So, uh, when is the appropriate time to light the candles? As we know, the mitzvah of lighting the candles of Shabbat is not only for women, it's actually for, for men. But we have this custom that the women do. So we're going to get to this halacha later that if a woman, if the agedat habayit, if wife is not available, man needs to make sure to light. Or if man is traveling and he is not in the same city, he needs to do his own. So when is the appropriate time to do that? The appropriate time is 20 minutes be, uh, before Shekhiyat Achama, before sunset. Even in Yerushalayim, Minhag of Sephardim, Eidut HaMizrach, the Minhag of Sephardim and Eidut HaMizrach is the Haddir HaNerot Ke'esrim Dachot Dipnei HaShekhiyat. That even in Yerushalayim, they do it 20 minutes before Shekhiyat HaKhama Sunset. The Sephardi Shenahag Dachmir Uladir Hanarot Arbaim Dachot Lifne Shekhiyat HaKhama and Bechoshvo Sheken Minha Gerushalayim. If there is a Sephardi that thinks right, that uh, one should light the candles of Shabbat 40 minutes before sunset because for whatever reason he thinks that in Yerushalayim it was 40 minutes before Shekhiyat HaKhama He is allowed to go ahead and make Teshuvah and uh, return from this Minhag Why? Because this is a Minhag Ta'ut 40 minutes before Shekhiyat HaKhama is a Minhag Ta'ut and he does not even need to know Hatarat Nedarim, from the Deen. There is no need for Hatarat Nedarim. There is no need to do Hatara for the Minhag. Why? Because this is a Minhag Ta'ut. However, but it's better to do Hatara. Right? And uh, over there he does. He needs to come and have kharata in front of a tree because he forgot to say Belinader. So that is something to do. Now over here in the footnotes, Halab Obadiah Yosef Halab Shonam explains, right, that uh, really Erev Shabbat, the Zeman of Hadagat Nerod is 20 minutes before Shekhiyat Achama. And those who think in Yerushalayim it was 40 minutes, this is wrong. The minhag of the Sephardim is 20 minutes. Even in Yerushalayim, Lifnei Ashagiyah. And if you come to say, I add this on my own, if you come to say, okay, what's the problem? Let's do 40 minutes before Shagat Achama. Then, this is going to make problems. As we know, one of the most sensitive times of the whole week is right before Shabbat. Everyone is running. Everyone is preparing for Shabbat. And if, and if you come and bring a stringency that has no roots, then this is going to create a lot of heat and problems. Right? That's, the, that's the time that, the, uh, that, uh, that Satan um, comes and, and tries to make a lot of machloket right before Shabbat. Right? That's why one needs to be very careful. And another thing that Halab Umadiyah Yosef Halab Shalom brings, is that if you accept upon yourself 40 minutes before Shekhiyat HaKhama, then you're going to run into problem for Shabbat of Hanukkah. Right? How are you going to be able to have uh, such a big oil container that is going to go right, uh, 30 minutes after Shekhiyat HaKhama, right? and then you did it 40 minutes beforehand also, so that's going to be at least 70 minutes. Right, and uh, the, the thing is that you want you want to have by after uh, the uh, by the set you want to have 30 minutes after the set so it's going to be even more than 
more than 70 minutes from the time that you light the candles. So you're going to run into a lot of problems. So, uh, and there is going to be the Barakha Levatala, because if you said Barakha Hadnagat Nerot of Chanukia, of the Menorah, the Chanukia of the Chanukah, right? Then, and it's not going to be 30 minutes um, after Seta Kochavim. Uh, it's not going to last 30 minutes after Seta Kochavim. And then your Barakha is going to be Barakha Levatala. So, therefore, because of all these reasons, one should not have this minhag, the minhag ta'ut of 40 minutes before shagat al-khama, right? And just like any other minhagim, that if it's a minhag ta'ut, one does not need to do hatarat nedarim, but if, if one does, he should, uh, he should make it, right? A hatarat minhag, because he forgot to say beli neder. As we know, we always try to say beli neder, because if we don't say the Linedah, then we're going to be stuck with something that we did three consecutive times and then we, that, that made it into a Nedah. So let's go on with the next Halakha, Halakha Dalet. Lechat Khila Yoter Nachon Sha'isha Itfalel Mincha Kodem Sha'adlik Et Hanerot. Preferably, the best case scenario is that the uh, Agarat Habayit wife would, uh, would, uh, would pray with Dam and Mincha before Shagiyat, uh, before, uh, sorry, before um, lighting the, ca the candles of Shabbat. Now, uh, let me just mention this. When is the most opportune, uh, uh, which tefillah of the whole week is more opportune to be accepted? Right, we learn from Eliyahu Hanavi in Masachet Berachot that Eliyahu Hanavi was answered right, in the tefillah of Mincha because in the middle of the day it's very hard to focus to make sure that uh, uh, you know your kavana is right so and Eliyahu Hanavi davened to Hashem by, by the famous story that he wanted to prove to the idol worshippers that Hashem is Echad so he was answered in the Zaman of Mincha. So the Mincha right before Shabbat is, is the most opportune time because that time everyone is running, everyone is trying to get ready for Shabbat. So many times people miss Mincha unfortunately or if they don't miss Mincha, they're gonna come to Beit HaKenesa late or they're not gonna have the right Kavana. So comes the Halakha, reminds us that ladies, Right? That they are not mechuya with all the three tefillot. They are mechuya with one tefillah. Preferably they should do the tefillah of shacharit. But if they can not do that, if they didn't do the tefillah of shacharit and somebody wants to do three tefillot, which is very, very good and nobody stops the woman to do more than one tefillah, then the tefillah of the mincha should be before lighting the candles of Shabbat. Vem. And if she forgot, when she forgot, they parlayed tekhila. If she forgot to daven first, or has man da khuk, or the time was pushy, mutalah they parlayed mincha. After had nagat hanerot, she is allowed to to daven mincha after had nagat hanerot. What's the question? You might say that she already accepted Shabbat. So if she already accepted Shabbat, how could she daven mincha? No problem. Allah comes to tell us. No problem, you could do after Hadagat Nerot the ladies. Even if this is after sunset. It has to be Betoch Kereva Sha'a Akhar Hashagia. It has to be right within Reva uh, Sha'a. is uh, almost 15 minutes after the Shagia, is within Ben Hashemashot. Vechen Mutala. Uh, 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 right and uh, so so for for her is uh, she is allowed to do before uh, she is allowed to do even after shariat al-khama but preferably lady should pray mincha before hadagat nerot shabbat ibn khanan min al-khama wa sagru shaqu la zakur al israil fi kaq man lan tawra misur shana mar arna khafis al masjid yadi tawra yadi kada kada